what LST did for me was actually to open new vistas, new horizons. It helped me gain a more conscious grasp of my identity in God and my mission as a layperson. LSD has taught me good theology, good solid theology, must be able to serve pastoral needs. Leading and serving through theology. To know if the tree is good, one must look at its fruits. For 50 years now, the Loyola School of Theology serves as a training ground for many individuals to become ministers of the Word. By providing theological formation that's faithful to the teachings of the Church and responsive to the needs of society, LSD instills in its students the value of academic excellence and a heart that beats for mission. Loyola School of Theology, it's a, this is our training ground as Jesuits. It's a training ground for us to be more effective in our future ministries. LST has been that liberating time for me. I think who I am now is also because of those ideas that were planted earlier. Uh, but not just ideas, but even the discipline and the humility and honesty to go through this period called LST. It is a school of theology, but it does not just form theologians, as you know. Theology is also a service that what it teaches can actually help society and even build communities. As a priest and as an academician, I learned in LST that those two don't need to fight. You don't have to choose between being a simple priest who will eventually work, for example, in a parish or in a ministry, and becoming a scholar. I learned from our professors, who were good scholars, were demanding scholars, but also very much attuned to uh, the realities of the time, that those two must not fight one another, those two must really come together. Good, solid theology must be able to serve pastoral needs. But good pastoral life must also be based on solid theology. In its pursuit of integral evangelization, LSD opened its doors to women religious and the lay. It's such an inspiration, of course, to the Second Vatican Council to realize the, the, the lay vocation and how important it is in the renewed understanding of the Church, of who it is and what its mission in the world is. It was really such a spirit-inspired move of LSD. And I'd say, if I look back at my days here in LSD, I'd say that this is one of the Lord's greatest gifts to me as a person and as a member of the people of God. No, in this particular state as a lay person. In terms of lay empowerment, I think that was a message of PCP2 and uh, this is one way for us to um, strengthen lay people and strengthen their ability to be apostles. This is a significant shift in our looking at lay people not only as recipients, not as passive observers, but to be agents of change. Um, and I'm delighted that um, LST has a very good environment for lay people. It tries to really dialogue with uh, uh, daily life and to grapple with real life uh, concerns of people today. What LST taught me is the love for those who are marginalized. That's uh, 
bringing Christ not even to those who love Christ, but to those who might not welcome Him. And LST always create that venue for its student to be open and to, to see that kind of reality. Well, I believe that uh, like me, just like me, all the foreign students also have come here with a vision of mission. We are not going to stay here, we are going to go our own respective countries. So this is the knowledge, this is the faith, this is the, uh, this is the understanding which we have got here, we are going to share. And through that, the Church of Asia also will grow. This specific missionary dimension is backed by the ecclesiastical degrees that LSD bestows upon its graduates. Every graduate is given authority to transmit the faith and is recognized by the Holy See as her collaborator. Today, LSD is home to men and women from different states of life, both local and foreign. It takes pride as home of people whose marks are recognized in pastoral leadership, mission, research, and even creative work. It goes without saying that at the core of the Loyola School of Theology is formation. Originally, the institution established in 1965 existed as a house of studies for Jesuits in the Philippines and Southeast Asia. It also stood as a locus of learning for the Josefinos, the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, the Passionists, and the Benedictines. I had a discussion at Father Arupe. I met Pope Paul VI, and Pope Paul VI told me, looking straight into my eyes, he says, you have been given the most important work that you as a Jesuit can do to form priests. According to the teaching of Vatican II at that time already. No. But the whole purpose of this institution was the formation of priests. The central mission of LSD has been formation, and I can say it has remained faithful to that uh, quality of uh, formation. And I see that no, in terms of how we form students uh, in, 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 uh, in their formation, so they can be effective ministers who can respond to various ecclesial concerns affecting the church and society. Also, we, we have a growing number of lay, lay, lay students now. Uh, in LST, you know, from a purely kind of just seminarians, now uh, we have an increasing number of religious, other religious, and lay, and also other international students. LST has become more international now compared to like 50 years ago. So, from a small population uh, in 1965 to what is now an international school uh, composed of uh, at present around 400 students. So it has really increased. Uh, we have around 30% of our stu students now come from various countries. As it continues to grow, LSD gears up in furthering its service by forging linkages and dialogue among different networks and faculties of learning. Like the Ateneo, CEFAM, CIS, and EAPI always to be relevant and responsive to the challenges confronting not only the institution, but also the greater whole. So, a whole new big change. The world is changing when the popes have been very prophetic in saying a new evangelization. A whole new evangelization is needed, and it's new in the sense that you're facing a new world, a different world. Imagine if theology can be brought to bear on what you're learning in physics or psychology, uh, then I, I think that will lead to
to a broader view of life, of the world, and of God. That's what we need, I think, right now. We envision LST as a leading Catholic uh, center uh, in terms of theological and ministerial formation in Asia, uh, working to realize a believing and praying church that serves humanity and also ready to collaborate with, with diverse religions and cultures. And what serves as compass for LSD is its threefold mission dialogue, discernment, and frontier, grounded no less in the ideals of Ignatius of Loyola as underlined by the Pope himself. That LSD should not build uh, walls but uh, becomes a bridge. We should have the capacity to read the gospel in the current realities around us. LST or the church should not become self-referential, that we should be ready to go to the peripheries. But what LST is goes beyond its being a premier school of theology. LST is its products too, a church who integrates everyone in a common journey toward the knowledge of God a church who immerses in the realities of life.